Hello and welcome back to VR Cricket Guy. But if you are visiting for the first time, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button, like this video and leave any comments you want in the description below. Right, today I have a 50 over league match to play. I always look forward to playing the, uh, the 50 over league matches. It's always nice to have a little bit of a challenge. Uh, right, okay, I am playing Chiato and uh, he has scored 100 exactly. So I need to match that score. So I'm hoping that shouldn't be too difficult, but you never know. So today we're playing on a bouncy pitch. That's uh, a little bit different than usual. Usually we're playing on the green wickets, but today we're on a bouncy wicket, 10 wickets, no bounce shield, of course, 50 overs in stadium number one. So let's crack on and get this game underway. Right, here we are in stadium number one. It's a two-tiered stadium. We have some floodlights up there. And also we have some uh, a few houses over the back there. Uh, so yeah, that's so not exactly the most entertaining of grounds, but uh, it still feels so immersive. Once you get playing uh, IB cricket in virtual reality, it doesn't take too long to get really engrossed and forget really that you're actually not really there. Right, Alistair Cook, Michael Atherton will be opening the batting. And I say we only need 101 to win. I'm hoping this doesn't turn into one of those uh, catastrophic innings where I uh, struggle all the way through so I'm just going to play nice and sensibly let's uh, not make too much of a fuss about it let's get the job done looking to play my favourite shot a drive, a square drive and hopefully today we might be able to pull off a few um, pull shots on this bouncy wicket That was the pull shot available there, but didn't really boot my feet at all. Let's turn the lights on. There we go. It doesn't really do much at all, to be honest. But they won. There's the first player miss. Trying to drive it through that offside area. Got a deep mid off cover, but there's a big gap there to try and aim for. One ball to come from this first over. And it's a slower ball that I can punch down towards the long off, but uh, Midon has come across and picked up the ball. That's a one run. Today I am wearing a Duncan Fernley or well, Fernley Cricket, as they're called now. It's a nice grey training t shirt, very comfortable. Very, very, uh, I don't know how the word is. It feels light and airy, that's the best way I can put it. That's, that's, that's Fernley Cricket. You can find them on Instagram, Fernley Cricket, at Fernley Cricket. <sighs> that's very bouncy. It's actually getting over the top of my head. And this is only a fast medium bowler. Trying to drive it on the onside, but again, yeah, I've just twisted the bat and made a leading edge rather than a proper drive. Oh, that was cut back quite a lot. Shot absolutely punched that through that vacant area that I was talking about earlier. That's rocketed away to the boundary. So we're nine off two overs. Atherton and Cook are going well so far. Oh. Saying that, and we're now facing some left arm spin bowling. With a bouncy wicket, it is, can be quite tricky. So again, just trying to make sure I don't turn this innings into a panic. Playing nice and straight, making sure not doing anything daft for the time being. There's a massive inside edge and a short final leg is there. Oh, that's wide. Leave that alone. I don't mind playing maidens out. We don't need to go um, hunting for the ball at the moment. So I'm more than happy to play six balls out there, maiden over, 
Nine for zero. So we now into the second over of spin. Already the fourth over, and it's right arm and leg spin. Not too much turn, to be honest, but it's just that unpredictable bounce that I'm more concerned about. As long as you get everything behind it, you're fine. It's just that looking for the opportunity to drive the ball and making sure you don't get caught on the uh, shoulder of the bat. Well, this could even be two maidens in a row, actually. I'm not too bothered with that. Like I said, we have plenty of time. I only need 101 to win. There's DeLongan. Let that one go past as well. So we've gone 11 balls without scoring. There we go. Backward square drive. That's four runs. Yes, it's slightly off the edge. But uh, four runs are the same. Right, it's left arm. Fast bowling now. Okay, go. That's good. Ball left. Happy with that. Again, playing it off to the offside. The ball coming across me. So I'm not really looking to play across the line just yet. If at all, to be honest, I need 101 to win. There we go. Guides it down to backward point there. I'm trying to guide it down to that area. Especially against the left armour. It isn't nice to <coughs> have the ball coming across you. That was pitched up nicely. Played out to cover. Five dot balls in a row against the uh, tall left arm. That one again, straight to cover. 13 without loss, five overs gone. Cook and Atherton at the crease. Cook, 10 not out, Atherton three. Right arm, fast bowler. And what I'm gonna try and do today is try and make sure I get to, to the total required, which is 101 required to win. At the moment we have 13, so 88 left to win. I'll try and do it without losing a wicket. That'll be nice. Oh. So anything outside or too wide of off stump, I will be leaving alone. I really don't want to lose cheap wickets. It's a nice opportunity to try and get to the total required just by you know, just moving the ball around, hitting the singles, hitting the bad balls, and but uh, leaving the wides, it's wide. Is that back foot? Well, oh, it's the square drive that I like to play. Oh, that's a bouncer. Straight over my head, and that's called wide. There it is, absolutely brilliant. <laughs> oh. Cuts that nicely for four. Now I'm trying to make the most of the, uh, the runs against the uh, pace of your bowlers because I know I am a bit slow against the spinners. It's uh, not right, look. The bat's pointing there, so the ball's gone exactly where it should. But I should be playing it there. Over oh, there. I'm not sure why I can't get over. No, I'm actually. Yeah, maybe I'm just struggling to move my wrists around. Anyway, let's carry on. Oh, I love oh, that's, that's a lovely shot. Played it down nicely, kept it on the ground. And I keep forgetting there is a short, fine leg. Waiting to pounce. Anything loose down the uh, leg side. 22 for that loss. Quick single there. Bowler can't be bothered. We'll take a single. Yeah. 
Again, it's a single there as well. Yeah, there's not a lot of spin at all, to be honest, it doesn't turn. So I can trust my shots at the moment. And I'm going to hit it straight to mid on. Off. Stupid thing to do. I think my eyes just lit up there. Uh, after talking about trying to play this game without losing any wickets, given a wicket away very, very cheaply indeed. Atherton caught a deep mid off for nine. And it's Michael Vaughan who comes in now just to try and make sure that wickets don't suddenly tumble. Just needs concentration. That's all I need to do. Look, there we go. Have a single there. No need to hit the ball in the air at all. Run rate acquired <laughs> is 1.79. There we go, square drive again, straight to point. There's the extra effort delivery, it should be cut away. Oh, tempting. I was going to have gone anywhere really, but just don't want to lose any more wickets for now. So we have a leg spinner and a left arm off spinner. Holds the poles nicely. Hits it away for four. Nicely done. Just waiting for the over pitch delivery. That one go. Just try and think if it's not going to get you out, just leave it at the moment. It's too wide. It's a, off, it's a leg spin delivery, so anything pitched outside leg shouldn't really give you any bother. And it's just a wrong one. It's too wide. Faster delivery. 29 for one of nine overs. Fast left arm bowler coming over the wicket. Oh, that's gone straight through me. I think that's just gone over the top of leg stump. So a quick look at that delivery. Got a funny feeling that's missed everything. And going over the top. Yeah, it has. Good length. Let's go over the leg stump. Oh, that's wide down the leg side, yep. Still waiting to pull off a nice pull shot. I haven't had those for at all this game so far. Uh, I'll take a single there. So the scoreboard is ticking along. 32 for one. And this is a tenth over. Yep. Driven straight back down the ground. Not quite what I intended. I intended it to be a lot straighter on the offside. I've got a bit of a cross batted and it's gone down the ground on the onside for four. 36 for one off 10 overs. Now, a lot of people do ask me if I've ever hit, 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 hit the glass table behind me. But uh, touch wood, so far that glass table has not got a scratch on it so far. Now I'll make sure when I set the game up I've got plenty of room behind me. I shouldn't really be hitting that glass table at all during the game. Ah, oh, that's terrible. Up and at four. Finds that gap between mid-off and cover. Four more runs, 41 for one, 60 left to win. 
Leave it. <laughs> ah, come on. That's a good bowling, that's a good bouncer, but she's really got something on it. Into the 12th over now. Yeah, trying to hit that big gap there, but it's a still single, but could have really got more on that one. Ah, that's what happens when you try and play it too early. It's at the, at the back of the toe end of the bat. It's got there far too early. That's only 61 miles an hour. Oh, it's a misfield. And I've got a funny feeling that's going to be four. It is, thank you very much indeed. Six off the over so far, six off three deliveries. Slow ball, punished, gone behind square for four, straight out in the middle of the bat. That's what you can do with the IB cricket, you can an angle the bat and play, to be honest, any shot you want. Leave it, it's wide, come on, yep. Expensive over so far, it's 11 gone so far. 11 from four deliveries. There we go, shot. That's going to be misfielded as well. Too hard. Have a four. Good over so far. That really pushes the runway up. Glided down nicely. Oh, one of my favourite shots. Very rare to get the opportunity these days, but short into the body, deflected down for four more. 16, 17, 18, 19 off the over. 60 for one off 12. It's nice to get those runs because then the spinners come on and I'll probably bat out on Maiden. Which I'm more than happy to do. I have no, uh, no problem with batting Maidens out. It would be nice to be able to vary my shot, so I may bring out a few sweep shots or reverse sweep shots if I feel like it. Oh, that's edged. Inside edge to the short third man. Short, short fine leg even. Come on. Yeah, it's gone before. It's dropped it, but I had no confidence that I was going to give you a court. That was a bit too hard. 65 for one. Ah, that's going to cut it. Oh, that's beautiful. Set six. No, one bounce and four. Took a little shuffle down the pitch. Lost it over cover. So uh, that's another question I get asked quite a lot. Can you move down the wicket? The answer is yes, as long as you've got room to do that. You can go where you like. But unfortunately, I have a breakfast bar just about here somewhere. So when I do move forward, I'm a little bit nervous about smashing this breakfast bar with my bat. Right, let's have some leg spin bowling and Leg spinner comes on. It's a deep mid off, deep mid on. And I've played it behind squat. I've lost count now how many times I've done that shot. Lack of concentration, too busy talking. And Cook caught a backward point for 24 or 36 deliveries. 69 for two. Root comes in now. I'd like to see Root now see out this uh, this game if we can. Shot straight to backward point again. There we go, nicely done. Plays it straight for two. So just 30 left to win, eight wickets remaining. Again, finding that gap. No need to hit it hard. That's another two runs. That's rubbish. I don't know what it was. There's a pre in premeditated sweep shot, which I got completely wrong. <sighs> and I can't get up. <laughs> Come on, back on it. Just play it straight back where it came from. There we go, there's more runs there. There's two more. That's six off the over. 75 for two, 14 overs gone. Right, here's the scorecard at the moment. We are 14 overs gone. 
Uh, the target is only 101, so uh, we still need 26 left to win. Kirk and Atherton have been, well, have lost their wickets to the the, uh, the spinners, but it's Vaughan and Root who are still in. Vaughan is not out, 32 off 12, and Root has just joined him and he's on six. That's wide. No, it's a dot ball, you're joking. Come on. Oh, a bold. Yeah, a genuine plan miss. That's been the first one. I think maybe only the second uh, plan miss I've played all innings so far. Push back nicely towards deep mid off for a single. Oh, that's wide. Thank you. No, oh, it's a massive gap here on the offside. That's all I'm trying to do is just force that ball through that gap. Uh, not quite. It's gone to uh, extra cover. Tried to fetch that from outside off stump. 78 for two. Ooh, big edge. That should run away for four. No, it's well fielded. Fielded on the boundary, just two runs. There we go. Four out. Nice. Nicely done, a little bit uppish, but uh, all four runs all the same. And this t-shirt, if you've noticed, is, uh, is Duncan Fernley. It's from uh, fernleycricket.co.uk or at fernleycricket on Instagram. Check them out. They've got some lovely gear. Played on. I've tried to guide it down towards third man. It's coming a little bit, it's, well, it's coming a lot more than I thought. And it's taken the bottom of the handle, or the bottom of the shoulder, sorry. Played it straight onto the stumps. Root bold for 13. We're 84 for three. Ben Stokes is the next man at the crease. Ah, oh, that's lazy. Sixteen overs gone, eighty-four for three. This is a fifty-over expert league match. Uh, I only require one hundred and one to win today, so it's been quite a relief. But we are eighty-four for three. Cook, Atherton, and Root have all been and gone, but it's still Michael Vaughan now, thirty-three not out. And Stokes has just come in, faced two balls so far, and is yet to score. Vaughan at the crease at the moment. I don't think we're going to get him to a fifty. We will just punch ones and twos around for a little while just to make sure we don't lose the match. Plenty of time, still 200 deliveries left to go. And that's gone down the wrong ground. Not that's the ground, the wrong pitch. 90 now, 90 for three. And hammered that straight to cover. He fills it well with one hand. Bold. That's a good yorker. But I'm going to get a run for that as well. 93 now for th 90, 91 for three. Apologies. 91 for three. Wide again. And there's going to be four of them. So now that total now is 96 for three. Just five more runs required to win the game. Oh no, the massive inside edge. I'm trying to win the game with a six. He let go of the bat then. Right, 96 for three. Left arm wrist spin now. 
hopefully we can just push the ball around and grab these uh, the runs before anything else silly happens. There's a one there. Oh, try to fetch that and smash it. I'll do a lap, is it a lap sweep. Would like to win the game with a sweep shot. Oh, I was a little bit too too full, really. One to 98, so just the three required to win the game. That's wide, leave that alone. Mm. Nice. That could be, well, it's going to be two at least. That's just one. Oh, okay. 99 for three. There's a leg spinner now. So it's going to get two runs off the leg spinner to win the game. And there's one of them. There's the 100. 100 for three. One required to win. Plays out to cover. Edged. Oh, and it's just bounced just in front of short third man. No, what are you doing? Come on. It's only one. It's wasting your time. Push it out to the offside and grab the signal. And he tries to smash it instead. There's a one bounce. Fielded. There's the win. 101 for three. 18.5 overs. That's all it took to get the 101 required. Vaughan, 36 not out. They had great innings. Cook, Roots, Atherton contributed slightly. But uh, 101 runs uh, scored. <laughs> scored. Good word. Scored in 18.5 overs. Right. Many thanks indeed to Fernley Cricket for providing me with this lovely uh, training t-shirt. It feels so nice and light. Uh, it's a little bit figure hugging. That's going to be worked on this year. This is all going to go, hopefully. So, yeah, join me in that uh, battle. Is that the word? Challenge. Yeah, trying to get rid of some of this timber down here. Obviously, Christmas has uh, not helped. <laughs> anyway, there we go. Yeah, I do get a lot of comments about uh, you know, my belly. A few pies has been mentioned a few times, but to be honest, not pies, it's more Guinness. Than anything else so yeah so that'll be my challenge hitting the gym a bit more and uh, trying to get this uh, waistline down a little bit more anyway i'm just i'm diverting quite a lot there right there we go so that's all done uh, if you haven't subscribed already please hit that subscribe button like the video leave any comments from below if you're looking to buy the oculus quest 2 ib cricket the ib cricket bat all the information is in the description below um if you like cricket and you've got the money you won't waste a penny mate it's absolutely fantastic game i've been playing this game now non-stop for two years and i enjoy every freaking second of it right cheerio